parishioners of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church affiliated with the Moscow Patriarchate have been preventing the commission of the Ukrainian Ministry of Culture from entering a number of churches of the Kyiv Monastery of the Caves for several days already. They claim to be defending their faith in this way. But judging by the way the priest plundered the Lavra, taking icons out, one can draw a completely different conclusion. After all, the commission should check the safety of state property. These are icons, scripts, other artifacts. Now the commission has checked more than 700 such elements. There are 129 more to be checked. After the completion of the work of this commission, we will be able to punish the results and provide full information to the media. To understand what state these values are in and whether they are still there at all. If any element of this 800 defined cultural heritages, then this is already a matter of criminal procedure and a crime. The clergy of the UOC of the Moscow Patriarchate had to completely leave the Kyivo Pacherska Lavra on March the 29th. Instead, they used zealous parishioners as a human shield. On Friday, the Ministry of Culture told the police about the obstruction of the actions of the State Commission by representatives of the Moscow churchmen. We will see. They were hoping for a verdict. Today the court decided to refuse them that, as they say, as a pledge to cancel our decision or suspend our decision. So we act absolutely legally. I hope that the representatives of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate will come to their senses. Oksandr Tkachenko, Minister of Culture and Information Policy of Ukraine, in an interview with Radio Liberty. However, on Saturday, it turned out that another state structure, the Security Service of Ukraine, became interested in the rector of the Lavra Metropolitan Pool, who was nicknamed Pasha Mercedes by the people for his love of luxury. And the charge here is much more serious. Paul is accused of inciting interreligious hatred and justifying Russian aggression. As proof, the Secret Service released a recording of the Metropolitan's phone conversation. And today Kherson preach the good news. There are already Russian flags everywhere and everything else. Of course, the Russians will not retreat. I was once told that it would be a war between America and Russia to the last Ukrainian. Good, there's not much of them left. Searches were also carried out at Paul's estate. Investigators found the official seal of the Russian Federation and many luxury items, including a portrait of the Metropolitan inlaid with amber. At this time, a measure of restraint was chosen for Paul himself in the Shevchenko district court. During the process, the suspect complained of feeling unwell, and the meeting was rescheduled for the evening. Earlier, Oleksiy Danilov, head of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, also spoke out for terminating the agreement of the free usage of the lower part of the National Kyiv Pachersk Historical and Cultural Reserve. In response, Metropolitan Paul recorded curses to the official as well as personally to President Volodymyr Zelensky. The head of state commented on the transfer of the control over the Kyiv Pachersk Lavra back to the Ukrainian state. Today, a step has also been taken to strengthen the spiritual independence of our state, to protect our society from the old and cynical Moscow manipulations of religion. Ukraine is the territory of the greatest religious freedom in our part of Europe, as it's been since 1991, as it will always be. For many years, Russia has used religion as one of the main ways to split Ukrainian society. Now that Kyiv is finally cutting off all ties with the aggressor, the Ukrainian state is regaining legal control over the shrines, which are national heritage. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Danilo Kobza, UATV News.